And we are back. RawStatus.com, Raw Status TV YouTube, The Raw Status Instagram, The Raw Status Twitter. Find us, follow us, friend us, like us, subscribe, comment, and share. Raw Status TV. And once again, I appreciate all the subscribes and likes this week. And we're going to keep this thing going. Um, I'm going to give you all my thoughts on this story that's coming out of the Chicago area about a female basketball player that you see pictured. This was from Channel 7 ABC News in Chicago. And Jasper Evans is her name, who suffered multiple injuries, including black eyes, scabs on her face, abrasions, as well as being allegedly choked unconscious. Um, she's saying that this attack was racially motivated, her and her attorney. And I'm going to read to you all just some excerpts, some excerpts from the story. The Quincy University freshman said she had said she and a friend stopped by the barn, which is one of the few bars by near campus. She said they both went to the DJ booth to put in a song request when the bar owner approached and grabbed her. He didn't even say anything to me at first, she recalled. The first thing he did was put his hands on me. He didn't ask me to leave. He didn't ask me what I was doing by the DJ booth. His first instinct was to shove me up against the gate. So this sounds like a what I call a whiteout is when these white supremacists, they get to a place of devilish, psychotic emotion, uncontrolled emotion, just being in the presence of a black person. Um, they're seeing their fellow white supremacists attack and assault people. Um, whether it's these police trials going on, or we just saw this video coming out of South Carolina where this so-called army soldier tried to assault and attack a little skinny young black dude that wasn't in his weight class or age or experience at all. But this is what we're dealing with. And don't forget, they love to attack girls. They love to fight girls like they're fighting men. Um, the white supremacist is a coward. But let me read some more here. His arm was just so big to the point where he couldn't even put it around my neck all the way to the point where he was pushing my head down, she said. She said she believes the attack was racially motivated. I believe he attacked me because I'm black, Evan said. The girl with me was white and, I, and I'm obviously African American. We were doing the same thing, standing in the same exact spot and he didn't say a word to her. He literally had tunnel vision and came straight for me. So again, this is a partially genetic Neanderthal acting like an animal, which Neanderthal was an animal. Some things that need to be talked about, I'll talk about right here on Raw Status. This ain't ESPN. I woke up, I was outside on the ground bleeding. I was crying. No one around helped me, Evan said. There were there was some police officers there and I walked over to them and they could visibly see the abrasions and cuts on my face. And I told them this guy had just attacked me. They didn't offer me any medical attention. They didn't ask my name. So law enforcement working in collusion with the white supremacists once again. Don't forget these bar owners and these white business owners, they're friends with the police officers. They have friends and family on the police force. Evans' parents said their daughter graduated magna cum laude from Joliet High School and received a full ride college basketball scholarship. They said she's never been in trouble before. Not that it matters if she was. There's nothing she could have done to provoke this, said her mother, Sharon Evans. She's 125 pounds. He's 350. That's not a fight. That's an assault. This is unbelievable. Why is this guy, why is this guy not locked up right now? Why, says Marvin Evans, her father. Quincy police confirmed the bar's owner was involved, according to Chief Rob Copley. They have not found evidence of racial motivation, but are investigating the possibility. This type of co this type of incident that's always a concern and we're always of and we're always well aware of that and if we can come up with evidence to show that we will he said i'm calling bs on that now these so-called alleged attacks against asian americans by these homeless mentally ill cracked out methed out black dudes on the streets in new york and san francisco 
um, they they're charging them with hate crimes. They don't need any evidence except for the Asian lady said so. There's a lot going on with that. We don't have time to discuss that in this video. But I want to say I'm glad that this girl said this is because I'm black. She didn't pussyfoot around it. She didn't tiptoe. She didn't shuffle. She said this person is a white supremacist. I'm paraphrasing. And I like the fact that her father is calling for her to be locked up. And her mother is absolutely right. 350 pounds versus 125 pound female. This isn't a man. This is a female. I'm going to read some more here. His name is Stephen William Holman. 47 was booked into the Adams County Jail shortly after noon Thursday on an aggress on an aggravated battery charge charged stemming from his April 4th encounter with 19 year old Jasper Jazz Evans. I don't know why it says charged. According to the authorities, Holman bonded out of jail on twenty five thousand dollars bound bond later in the afternoon. He's expected to make his first court appearance May 4th. So charged with aggravated battery. Like I said, that should be upgraded to a hate crime. We need to get people like this off of the streets. Now, where are the Me Too and the Time Out and the feminist groups that are circling the wagons down there in Houston for these weird charges against Deshaun Watson? But here is a young lady that was beat up by this ogre in the picture. He looks like a white supremacist, looks like a Hitler nut rider. And I want to hear more athletes speak out about situations like this and push the rhetoric more and more sharp. Meaning, like I said, I'm glad that her father discussed punishment because the only thing that would stop these racist white supremacists is punishment. You see the NBA doing a lot of symbolic things. They're doing a lot of charity work and a lot of commercials and they're patting black people on the head and saying, we're giving, we're going to give you attention. But if the NBA really gives a damn about black people, they should start using their power to bring forth legisl legislation. This is just another look at some more headlines. This is from the Atlanta black star. So after days of protests and public pressure, he was finally arrested. So like she said in the story, they didn't even want to arrest her. Ladies and gentlemen, the police protect these people. So you had a lot of hoopla from the media, in particular, the sports media, just me watching ESPN and just the way that they have this fake concern about racism and white supremacy, which I've told you that ESPN and, and Fox sports are two bastions of white supremacy. Although I believe Fox sports at least tries to front and put on at least a, a face. But if you listen to the underlying messages and the underlying subtle jabs on the shows, on the sports shows, you'll pick up on it. So again, what can athletes do? I haven't heard many speaking out about the Chauvin trial. Perhaps they're like me, they're waiting until it's done. But make no mistake about it. If you have not seen these videos from many different incidents like this of innocent, many times young black people. I mean, look at the picture. She's a biochemistry major. You beat up the smart chick that plays basketball. Was hanging out. I mean, and that this is another reason to you young black people out there. If you're listening to this, be very careful going to these white bars and to these white places. A lot of times in college or if you're hanging around different types of people, you lose sight of the fact that we are undergoing an attack by the white supremacists and it is intensifying. This is a direct reaction to 
a black president being elected many years ago. A biracial president being elected many years ago and the election of Donald Trump was the response to that. And now the temper tantrums and the panties in a bunch and the animalistic behavior that is so typical of them is getting more and more intense. So, you know, if you're playing ball at one of these schools or if you're hanging out, you know, it gets boring on campus and you want to get out there and do something, but stay away from those white bars unless you're ready to take it there. And again, this is a young lady. This is not a man. This is a little college student female. Um, I believe this person should be put under the jail and should be prosecuted to the full to the fullest extent of the law. Those words are what I need to cut to hear coming out of the mouths of these professional athletes. No more explaining how immoral the white supremacists are. No more letting people understand you and feel you and hear your feelings. We need results. In order to stop white supremacy, there must be punishment. There must be punishment. And I'm going to talk about some other things in a later video in regards to Dwayne Wade and him becoming this face for the Utah Jazz and part ownership. And I'm going to tell you what I think is really going on with that. But just in brief, again, these are symbolic gestures by the league. Now, symbolism may be good for the self-esteem of some young people, some young black people. But at the end of the day, if you ask me, these franchises know damn well that they have influence on legislation in the state. If not, they have the money to donate to campaign funds for people that want to put laws on the book, on the books to protect black Americans and all citizens, for that matter, against. In particular, the police force. Racial attacks by cowardly citizens like this fat piece of dirt in the picture. Now, don't forget, inside of the mind of the white supremacists, the homo sapien Neanderthal hybrids, they, I believe, are born with a wantingness to assault black people. We can get deep on a scientific note, but... We're going to keep it on the, on the surface. Again, if you are a young person or if you are someone that has children, explain to them that you need to keep your eyes peeled at all times and be aware of your own mortality at all times and be ready to defend yourself at all times, no matter where you're at. And for God's sakes, again, stay the hell out of white nightclubs and bars and discotheques and speakeasies. If they still have those. So you see the injuries here. You can't tell me that two college students that went to a bar and asked the DJ to put on some jams deserve this. Someone needs to hit him in his big, bald, penis looking head with a construction grade sledgehammer. So let me know what you think. Should athletes speak more in terms of punishment and passing legislation to protect African-Americans from hate crimes? This is Raw Status.